So that's not why I dissed them. The reason I dissed them is actually a lot more petty than that. In the dynamic realm of hip hop, few figures have garnered as much reverence and apprehension as Marshall Mathers, better known by his stage name Eminem. Eminem's emergence onto the hip hop scene marked a seismic shift in the genre's landscape, provoking a mixture of admiration, envy, and for some, a palpable sense of fear. Some black rappers have been bold enough to state why they are really scared of Eminem. I'll begin with Lil Wayne. So when, yeah. I, when I spoke to M on the show in May, I asked him about the tweet. Lil Wayne reveals why he's scared of Eminem. Wayne, the titan of rhyming, has always been known for his exceptional wordplay and lyrical genius. But even someone as talented as Lil Wayne had moments of doubt and intimidation, especially when it came to collaborating with the legendary Eminem. In a recent interview with the New York Times, Lil Wayne said, I was scared, actually, when I called Eminem for a song, referring to when he first reached out to Eminem for a collaboration that would eventually result in the iconic song, Drop the World. When Lil Wayne made the call to Eminem, he knew he was dealing with a true lyrical monster. He recognized that Eminem possessed the same obsession with words that he did, an insatiable desire to find the perfect rhyme, to dissect every meaning and aspect of a lyric. Lil Wayne understood the gift and curse that Eminem possessed, and he couldn't help but be in awe of the way Eminem put his words together. The collaboration between Lil Wayne and Eminem on Drop the World was a monumental moment in hip hop history. The track was featured on Lil Wayne's Rebirth album, released in 2010. It marked the first personal collaboration between the two rap titans, showcasing their undeniable chemistry and lyrical prowess. Drop the World is a powerful anthem that delves into the struggles and challenges faced by both artists throughout their careers. Lil Wayne's raw and introspective verses combined with Eminem's rapid fire delivery and thought-provoking lyrics created a dynamic and unforgettable collaboration. The song resonated with fans worldwide, solidifying Lil Wayne and Eminem's status as two of the greatest rappers of all time. But Drop the World wasn't the first time Lil Wayne and Eminem had crossed paths. Prior to their personal collaboration, they had both appeared together on Drake's 2009 hit song Forever alongside Kanye West. This star-studded collaboration showcased the immense talent and influence of all four artists, and it was a precursor to the groundbreaking collaboration that would follow. The success of Drop the World was just the beginning of Lil Wayne and Eminem's collaborative journey. Later in 2010, they joined forces once again on Eminem's recovery album for the track No Love. This powerful collaboration further solidified their artistic bond and showcased their ability to push each other to new heights. The impact of Lil Wayne and Eminem's collaboration extends far beyond their own careers. Their lyrical wordplay, delivery, flow, and originality have influenced an entire generation of rappers. In fact, Tyga, another prominent rapper, recently named Lil Wayne and Eminem as the best rappers of all time, recognizing their immense talent and generational influence. Lil Wayne and Eminem's impact on the rap industry is undeniable. Their lyrical prowess, delivery, and unique styles have solidified their positions as two of the greatest rappers of all time. This recognition extends beyond their own fan base and peers, as other prominent artists have also acknowledged their immense talent and influence. One such artist is Tyga, who recently took to Twitter to proclaim Lil Wayne and Eminem as the best rappers of all time. In response to Billboard and Vibe's list of the top 50 rappers of all time, Tyga praised Lil Wayne and Eminem for their lyrical wordplay, delivery, flow, pockets, originality, rawness, intentionality, clarity, and generational influence. His tweet sparked a conversation among fans and critics alike, further highlighting the impact of these rap legends. Lil Wayne's influence on the rap industry cannot be overstated. He burst onto the scene in the late 1990s as a member of the Hot Boys, a rap group that also included Juvenile, BG, and Turk. Lil Wayne's unique style and wordplay quickly set him apart from his peers, earning him a dedicated fan base and critical acclaim. His mixtapes, such as Thought Carter series, showcased his versatility and lyrical dexterity, solidifying his status as a rap icon. Eminem, on the other hand, emerged from the gritty streets of Detroit and took the rap world by storm with his debut album, The Slim Shady LP, in 1999. His raw and unapologetic lyrics, combined with his rapid-fire delivery and storytelling ability, captivated audiences worldwide. Eminem's ability to tackle controversial topics and express his inner demons resonated with fans, making him one of the most influential and successful rappers of all time. Both Lil Wayne and Eminem have pushed the boundaries of rap music, constantly evolving their styles and challenging the status quo. Their impact on the rap industry goes beyond their technical skills. They have inspired a new generation of artists to embrace their individuality and push the limits of their creativity. In addition to their solo careers, Lil Wayne and Eminem have collaborated with numerous artists, further expanding their influence. Their collaborations with other rap heavyweights such as Drake, Kanye West, and Nicki Minaj 
have resulted in chart-topping hits and have solidified their positions as rap legends. Speaking of Nicki Minaj, Tyga also acknowledged her as the best female rapper of all time. He praised her wordplay, punchlines, delivery, pocket presence, beat selection, creativity, and inflictions. Nicki Minaj's impact on the rap industry cannot be overlooked, as she has shattered glass ceilings and paved the way for future female artists. The influence of Lil Wayne, Eminem, and Nicki Minaj extends beyond their own music. They have inspired countless artists to pursue their dreams and have left an indelible mark on the rap industry. Their ability to captivate audiences with their lyrical prowess and unique styles is a testament to their talent and dedication. Lil Wayne, the New Orleans native and rap icon, is about to embark on a new musical journey, his G-Funk debut. Teaming up with West Coast veteran Warren G, Lil Wayne is set to bring his unique style and lyrical prowess to the world of G-Funk music. This collaboration has sparked excitement and anticipation among fans and industry insiders alike. In a recent interview with All Hip Hop, Warren G expressed his enthusiasm for the project, stating, First time Wayne did some records over some G-Funk sh I can't wait for people to hear it. People are gonna be like, damn that N day and Warren, they got verses of the year. That's how dope it is. G Funk, a subgenre of hip hop that originated on the West Coast in the 1990s, is characterized by its smooth, funk infused beats and laid back vibe. It became synonymous with artists like Warren G, Dr. Dre, and Snoop Dogg, who helped popularize the genre and bring it into the mainstream. For Lil Wayne, known for his versatility and ability to adapt to different styles, this foray into G-Funk represents a new chapter in his already illustrious career. It showcases his willingness to explore different sounds and push the boundaries of his artistry. The collaboration between Lil Wayne and Warren G is a meeting of two rap legends from different coasts, bridging the gap between the East and West. Their combined talent and experience promise to deliver a truly remarkable musical experience. As of now, details about the upcoming song, titled All Alone, are being kept under wraps. The release date has yet to be announced, leaving fans eagerly awaiting the moment they can finally hear the magic that Lil Wayne and Warren G have created. The anticipation surrounding this collaboration is palpable. Fans are buzzing with excitement, eager to see how Lil Wayne's unique style will blend with the signature G-Funk sound. The prospect of hearing Lil Wayne's lyrical prowess over smooth, funk-infused beats is enough to make any hip-hop enthusiast heart race. Lil Wayne's G-Funk debut with Warren G is not only a testament to his versatility as an artist, Artist, but also a nod to the enduring influence of G-Funk music. It serves as a reminder of the genre's impact on the rap industry and its ability to transcend geographical boundaries. Eminem's unparalleled skill and influence in the rap industry have earned him a status that transcends race, intimidating even the most seasoned of artists. If Lil Wayne feels intimidated by Eminem, it's a sentiment that many black rappers wouldn't find unfamiliar. But even before I met him, I was introduced to Eminem music the 1998 Smoking Groove Tour. Busta Rhymes on why he's scared of Eminem. In a recent chat with Rolling Stone magazine, Busta Rhymes talked about why big name rappers like Nas, Eminem, and Jay-Z don't pop up on other artists' songs as much as you might expect. He said there are two main reasons why some artists keep showing up everywhere. One, they're super popular. And two, well, it's interesting to notice that Eminem, Nas, and Jay-Z don't jump on a lot of other people's tunes. These guys are known for their awesome rhymes, so you'd think they'd be all over the place. But Busta thinks there's a bit of fear involved. He reckons some artists might worry that they won't be happy with the end result of a collab. Imagine if you asked a big shot rapper to hop on your track and they totally outshine you. That could be embarrassing. Busta also talked about how featuring other artists on your songs has become a big deal in the music world. He said he realized this a long time ago, especially for artists who can't carry a whole song by themselves. See, record labels used to help artists develop their skills, but that's not as common anymore. So now, lots of artists are on their own trying to get famous. And one way to get noticed is by teaming up with someone who's already popular. That's why having a famous name on your track can sometimes be more important than how good the song actually is. Busta Rhymes, the dynamo of hip hop, has carved out a legacy that's as explosive as his stage name suggests. Born Trevor George Smith Jr. on May 20th, 1972, this New York City native has been a force to be reckoned with since his high school days at Uniondale High School, where he graduated in 1991. But even before that, he was rubbing shoulders with future legends like Jay-Z and Notorious Big at George Westinghouse Career and Technical Education High School in Brooklyn. Busta's career trajectory took off like a rocket with the group leaders of the new school, but it was his solo launch that sent him into the stratosphere. His debut album, The Coming, dropped in 19. 
1996 and was a commercial juggernaut, earning him a Grammy nod and setting the stage for a career that would defy gravity. With 11 solo albums under his belt, the latest being Blockbuster in 2023, Busta Rhymes has been a relentless force in the industry. His tracks like Ruha Got You All In Check, Put Your Hands Where My Eyes Could See, and Touch It are more than just songs. They're anthems that have reverberated through the halls of hip hop history. His collaborations read like a who's who of the music world, with icons such as Mariah Carey, Missy Elliott, and Chris Brown all sharing the mic with him. But Busta isn't just a rapper, he's a chameleon of entertainment, with a filmography that spans genres and a presence on the small screen that's just as captivating. His style is unmistakable, a blend of raw energy and a flow that's as intricate as it is infectious. And let's not forget his business acumen, founding his own record label, conglomerate and production crew, The Conglomerate. Yet it's not just his artistry that makes Busta Rhymes a figure of fascination. His life off stage has been just as headline worthy. Legal tangles, including assault and driving offenses, have dotted his journey, and controversies like the Arab money lyric dispute have sparked conversations far beyond the realm of music. Busta's faith as a Muslim has also been a topic of interest, with the rapper speaking openly about his beliefs. Through all the trials and triumphs, Busta Rhymes stands tall in the hip-hop pantheon, a testament to talent, tenacity, and the power of reinvention. His impact on the rap industry is as undeniable as his energy is inexhaustible, and his influence continues to echo through the generations. But Busta thinks things might be changing. He said lots of new artists are starting to see that chasing after a big shot rapper can be a real headache. These famous folks can sometimes act like divas, you know, thinking they're too cool for everything. So maybe in the future, artists will focus more on making great music on their own instead of relying on big names to get attention. Busta and Eminem eventually collaborated. The collaboration between Busta Rhymes and Eminem on Calm Down not only captivated fans with its incredible composition and production, but also made a significant impact on the music industry. Let's take a closer look at the commercial success of the track and the milestones it achieved. In its debut week of release, Calm Down made waves in the United States, selling over 40,000 digital copies. This impressive figure propelled the song to debut at number 94 on the prestigious Billboard Hot 100 chart. The success of Calm Down extended beyond the United States. In Belgium, the track reached number 37 on the Ultra Top Flanders chart, while in Germany, it climbed to an impressive position of number two on the Deutsche Black charts. The impact of Calm Down was felt across the globe. In Canada, the track secured a spot on the Canadian Hot 100, peaking at number 65. It also made its mark in the United Kingdom, reaching number 63 on the UK singles chart. The commercial success of Calm Down was a testament to the immense talent and star power of both Busta Rhymes and Eminem. The track's chart positions and sales figures showcased the widespread appeal and demand for their collaboration. Beyond the numbers, Calm Down achieved notable milestones that solidified its place in music history. The track became a fan favorite and a staple in the live performances of both Busta Rhymes and Eminem, captivating audiences with its high energy delivery and intense lyrical exchanges. The impact of Calm Down extended beyond its initial release. Track success reignited the spotlight on Booster Rhymes, bringing him back into the forefront of the hip-hop scene. It served as a reminder of his undeniable talent and his ability to deliver captivating performances. For Eminem, Calm Down was yet another addition to his long list of chart-topping hits. It showcased his versatility as an artist and his ability to seamlessly collaborate with other rap legends, solidifying his status as one of the greatest rappers of all time. The legacy of Calm Down continues to inspire and influence future generations of hip-hop artists. Its impact on the music industry serves as a testament to the power of collaboration and the ability of two rap legends to push the boundaries of the genre. The instrumental for Calm Down was the brainchild of producer Scoop DeVille. Drawing inspiration from the iconic 1992 House of Pain track, Jump Around, Scoop DeVille created a foundation that would set the stage for Busta Rhymes and Eminem's lyrical prowess. The introductory horns from Jump Around became the backbone of Calm Down, infusing the track with a sense of familiarity and nostalgia. But Scoop DeVille didn't stop there. He added his unique touch, layering the instrumental with hard-hitting drums and infectious melodies that would captivate listeners from the very first beat. Calm Down also incorporated vocal samples that added depth and texture to the track. The iconic line, yo, chill man, chill, from the Notorious Big's 1993 track, Party and Bull made a memorable appearance in the background of the second chorus and at the very end of the song, 
This sample served as a nod to the rich history of hip hop and added an extra layer of nostalgia to the track. Another vocal sample used in Calm Down was the line Steady on the Right, Steady on the Left from Grand Wizard Theodore and Kevy Kev Rockwell's 1983 military cut, Scratch Mix. This sample was strategically placed in the chorus, further enhancing the energetic and dynamic nature of the song. While Scoop DeVille laid the foundation for Calm Down, the involvement of Eminem in the production process elevated the track to new heights. In an interview with Power 106, Busta Rhymes revealed that Eminem took charge of the mixing, mastering, and additional production of the song. Eminem's meticulous attention to detail and his innate understanding of the rap genre ensured that every aspect of Calm Down was finely tuned. His involvement in the production process added a layer of complexity and polish that elevated the track to a whole new level. The collaboration between Busta Rhymes and Eminem extended beyond their lyrical prowess. Their shared vision for Calm Down and their commitment to delivering a high quality track pushed them to explore new territories in terms of production and sound. The result was a song that not only showcased their incredible rap skills, but also demonstrated their ability to create a sonic experience that would captivate audiences worldwide. Calm Down became a testament to the power of collaboration and the magic that can happen when two rap legends come together. But like every other rap legend, Eminem is not without controversies. Is it's kind of like these aren't personal attacks on people. These, I, I've never met these people, you know what I mean? So these aren't like personal attacks on their character or anything like that. Um, you know, it's kind of like it, it, it's kind of like picking names out of a hat. And if your name rhymes with something good, or you know what I mean? Then, <laughs> <laughs> this is bad luck. Eminem feuds. While Eminem is known for his lightning fast rhymes and sharp lyrics, he also carved out a niche for himself in the hip hop world with his potent diss tracks. These tracks, where he directly takes aim at other rappers or public figures, have become something of a legend in the industry. When Eminem drops a diss track, it's like throwing a grenade into the rap game explosive and attention grabbing. His words cut like a knife, slicing through any pretense or bravado his targets may have. For many rappers, the idea of going up against Eminem in a lyrical battle is daunting, to say the least. They know that Eminem has a knack for delivering verbal blows that hit hard and leave a lasting impression. It's like stepping into the ring with a heavyweight champion. You better be prepared to duck and weave or you'll find yourself knocked out cold. Eminem's diss tracks have become part of his legacy, cementing his status as one of the most feared and respected figures in hip hop. For other rappers, crossing paths with Eminem in a lyrical showdown is not a challenge to be taken lightly, but rather a potential career-defining moment that requires careful consideration and preparation. In the early days of his career, Eminem found himself embroiled in a heated feud with the renowned rapper and former House of Pain member Everlast. The feud began in the late 1990s, when Eminem released his debut album, The Slim Shady LP, which catapulted him into the mainstream spotlight. The feud between Eminem and Everlast stemmed from a diss track titled I Remember, released by Everlast, where he took shots at Eminem and questioned his credibility as a rapper. Eminem, never one to back down from a challenge, swiftly responded with his scathing diss track, I Remember, dedication to Whitey Ford, targeting Everlast's career and personal life. The feud intensified when Eminem released another diss track, Quitter, featuring his mentor, Dr. Dre. In this track, Eminem unleashed a barrage of insults aimed directly at Everlast, mocking his music, appearance, and even his previous heart condition. The diss track gained significant attention and further fueled the rivalry between the two artists. The feud reached its peak when Everlast responded with his own diss track, Whitey's Revenge, where he fired back at Eminem with equally harsh lyrics. The track showcased Everlast's lyrical prowess and demonstrated that he was not one to be underestimated. The feud between Eminem and Everlast captivated the music industry and divided fans. It became a battle of words and wit, with both artists using their lyrical skills to attack each other's credibility and reputation. The media eagerly covered every development, further fueling the fire and intensifying the feud. Ultimately, the feud between Eminem and Everlast began to fizzle out as both artists moved on to other projects and focused on their respective careers. However, the impact of this early rivalry cannot be underestimated. It showcased Eminem's ability to engage in fierce battles and solidified his reputation as a formidable force in the rap game. One of the most notorious feuds in Eminem's career is his highly publicized clash with the legendary pop diva, Mariah Carey. The feud between the two began in the early 2000s and quickly escalated into a media frenzy that captivated fans and tabloids alike. The origins of the feud can be traced back to Eminem's claim that he had 
had a romantic relationship with Mariah Carey. In his song Superman, Eminem made explicit references to their alleged affair, leaving fans and the media intrigued. However, Mariah Carey vehemently denied any involvement with the rapper, dismissing his claims as false. Eminem, never one to back down, responded with a series of diss tracks aimed at Mariah Carey. In his song The Warning, Eminem unleashed a scathing attack on Carrie, revealing intimate details about their alleged relationship and accusing her of being deceitful. The track sent shockwaves through the industry and intensified the feud. Mariah Carey, in turn, released her own diss track titled Obsessed, which many believed was a direct response to Eminem's claims. The song featured lyrics that seemed to mock Eminem and question his sanity. The accompanying music video even depicted Carrie dressed as a male stalker, further fueling the feud. The feud between Eminem and Mariah Carey continued to escalate as they traded insults and accusations through interviews and social media. The media eagerly covered every development, turning the feud into a spectacle that dominated headlines. One of the most memorable moments of the feud came when Eminem released a voicemail allegedly left by Mariah Carey, further fueling speculation about their relationship. The voicemail, which featured a woman's voice resembling Carrie's, added another layer of intrigue to the already sensational feud. Despite the intense back and forth, the feud eventually began to lose steam as both artists moved on with their careers. However, the impact of the feud on their public images cannot be understated. It solidified Eminem's reputation as a controversial and fearless rapper, unafraid to take on even the biggest names in the industry. In recent years, Eminem found himself embroiled in a highly publicized feud with the up-and-coming rapper Machine Gun Kelly. The feud between the two artists began in 2012 but reached its peak in 2018, captivating the attention of the music industry and fans worldwide. The origins of the feud can be traced back to Machine Gun Kelly's tweet in 2012 where he made derogatory comments about Eminem's daughter, Haley. Eminem, fiercely protective of his family, took offense to the remarks and responded with a scathing diss track titled Not Alike on his album Kamikaze in 2018. In the track, Eminem called out Machine Gun Kelly and criticized his career and credibility as a rapper. Machine Gun Kelly wasted no time in firing back with his own diss track titled Rap Devil. The track was a direct response to Eminem's Not Alike and featured lyrics that mocked Eminem's age, appearance, and relevance in the current rap scene. The diss track gained significant attention and marked the escalation of the feud. Eminem, known for his quick-witted and sharp lyricism, retaliated with another diss track titled Killshot. Released as a response to Rap Devil, Killshot showcased Eminem's lyrical prowess as he dismantled Machine Gun Kelly with scathing verses. The track became an instant hit and further intensified the feud. The feud between Eminem and Machine Gun Kelly continued to escalate as they traded insults and jabs through interviews and social media. Fans eagerly awaited each artist's response, fueling the fire and turning the feud into a spectacle. One of the most memorable moments of the feud came during Machine Gun Kelly's concert in 2018, where he performed Rap Devil and invited a fan to spit on a poster of Eminem. The act was seen as a direct provocation and added another layer of intensity to the ongoing feud. Eminem's career has been marked by both critical acclaim and controversy. His unique rapping style and ability to tell stories through his music have garnered him a massive following. Albums such as Recovery and Kamikaze have topped the charts, and his collaborations with artists like Rihanna, Dr. Dre, and Beyonce have produced chart-topping hits. Eminem's influence extends beyond his own music. As the founder of Shady Records, he has produced albums for other artists and helped shape the careers of acts like D12 and OB Trice. Eminem's personal struggles, including his battle with addiction and his journey to sobriety since 2008, have been a central theme in his music. His raw and honest portrayal of these challenges has resonated with fans around the world. Eminem has also been vocal about his political views, aligning with the Democratic Party, and has never shied away from addressing societal issues in his lyrics. Throughout his career, Eminem has been involved in numerous feuds with other artists. His confrontations with Insane Clown Posse, Everlast, Cannabis, Ja Rule, Benzino, Mariah Carey, Nick Cannon, Moby, and Machine Gun Kelly have all made headlines. These feuds often resulted in a series of diss tracks that showcased Eminem's lyrical prowess and his fearlessness in the face of conflict. Despite facing legal issues and accusations of homophobia, Eminem has consistently denied such charges and has expressed support for gay rights. His legacy as an artist is undeniable. He has sold millions of records, won countless awards, and is considered one of the greatest rappers of all time.
Eminem's impact on the music industry is profound, and his work has influenced a generation of artists. Eminem's accolades include an Academy Award for Best Original Song, induction into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, and recognition by Rolling Stone and MTV as one of the greatest artists of all time. His albums have achieved diamond certification, and he has been honored with the Global Icon Award at the 2013 MTV EMA Music Awards. Eminem's career reflects a legacy of pushing boundaries, addressing difficult subjects, and creating music that has left an indelible mark on the industry. Enjoyed the video? Crave more excitement? Stay tuned by clicking on any of the cards on your screen right now for more thrilling content. See you next time.